Hello, Lois from Student Financial Planning here again. This time we're going to talk about other resources. Where else can you find money to make college more affordable? In our last video, we talked briefly about the five options Kansas Wesleyan has to offer. But here's a bit more detail about option three, the Parent PLUS loan. This is a federal government program. It's for those families that could not save enough for college. It's easy to qualify. They do a slight credit check, but they only check for four items. That the parent who is borrowing is not in default on their own federal student loans. They have no federal tax lien. They have no bankruptcy or foreclosure in the preceding five years and no item on their credit report more than 90 days past due. If none of those things appear on the credit report, the application will be approved. The interest rate is 6.31% and an origination fee of 4.276. It's not the cheapest loan. A high FICO score co-borrower with the alternative loan can be cheaper. It's easy to apply for a Parent PLUS loan though. The parent who's going to borrow logs on at www.studentloans.gov with their FSA ID. That's the username and password they use to sign FAFSA. They get an immediate response. Now, interestingly enough, if the parent's application is declined, all four of the items that are looked at can be appealed or the parent can obtain a co-signer. If they have a co-signer for their Parent PLUS loan, the same credit check is applied to the co-signer. They only look for those four items. If the co-signer is going to be added to the parent's application, they also log on at www.studentloans.gov with their FSA ID. Makes this loan very achievable. Plus, payment on this loan can be postponed until six months after graduation or the student ceases to be enrolled at least half time. Interest, of course, is accruing and will be capitalized if not paid by the end of the year. Then one is paying interest on interest, which is just not financially healthy. The loan has some good features. The parent can borrow more than just the remaining balance. That can help with many other expenses related to going to school. Let us know how much you want to borrow. Another benefit is the loan is forgiven if the parent or student passes away before the loan is paid in full. If the borrower becomes permanently disabled, and if they work in public service, they can also qualify for some part of the loan to be canceled. Option four and five are the private alternative loans. Again, this is a high FICO score loan. It's a bank loan. So approval is set by whether the FICO score of the borrower and the co-borrower pass their credit standards. And the interest rate is also set by the FICO score. There is no origination fee. The student can be the borrower and anyone can be the co-signer. It doesn't have to be a parent. Sometimes grandparents step in here. You apply at the lender of your choice at their site, electronically online. The three largest volume lenders are Sally Mae, Wells Fargo, and Discover. The URLs to those three lenders are on our payment selection form, but we'll work with any lender you choose. Read the promissory note carefully for specific terms and benefits of your loan. Payment can be deferred until after graduation or the student drops below half-time standing. Remember, interest is occurring on this loan as well. In the prior video, we talked about Kansas Wesleyan scholarships. Again, these are awarded automatically, so don't hesitate to contact us if you have questions about them. College is a four-year investment, so the renewability of scholarships is very important to understand when you choose your school. Think four years. Renewable scholarships and improvable scholarships are important. At Kansas Wesleyan, your academic scholarship will renew as long as you maintain a 2.5 grade point average and you are enrolled in at least 12 hours in on-ground classes. The performance scholarship for activity renews only a 2.0 and continued participation in an activity. You can change your activity. But to improve your scholarships, after your first year, we will evaluate based entirely on your Kansas Wesleyan cumulative grade point average. You can improve your scholarship so for example, if you began with a university scholarship and you qualified for a 3.0 Kansas Wesleyan cumulative grade point average, you could move up to the Pioneer Scholarship. That improves your scholarship by $2,000 a year. If you had a 3.5, you could jump all the way to 10,000. At Kansas Wesleyan, it pays to do well academically. State of Kansas residents, pay attention to this because the state of Kansas has an extremely generous state scholarship program you apply annual, annually at www.kbor.org. The priority deadline is May 1 each year. 
there is a fee of $12. Generally, the scholarships are only available to Kansas residents. Particularly interesting are scholarships for teacher education, nursing, a minority scholarship, and Kansas Scholars Curriculum. For more details, go to the URL on the PowerPoint. Outside scholarships are a rich source of additional free money. This screen shows a flyer about scholarship searching. You can find that flyer on our website on the Outside Scholarship Opportunities page. We also maintain a list of currently available outside scholarship opportunities and search engines on our website. In searching for outside scholarship, volume is the key to successful searching. I always advise 150 applications a year should be your goal to submit. Successful scholarship searching is about volume and strategic use of your time. Submitting 10 applications may be a waste of your time, but submitting 150 will reap rewards. In your scholarship essay, address the mission of the donor how your education will advance the cause that was close enough to the donor's heart to cause them to part with their money. This will make your application stand out. Most scholarship essays just whine, I am so great, give me money. The good one ties the mission of the donor with your education. Sometimes it's hard to connect these two things. Sometimes creative writing is involved. Have an English teacher review the paper with a red pen. Get it grammatically, spelling, and punctuation perfect. You've invested an hour and have a perfect scholarship essay. Submit it. Then go on to the next scholarship. Just change the essay to this donor's mission. 10 minutes. In 10 hours, you can do 150 at easily. If you only reap $2,000 from that, that's still $200 an hour. Don't forget, apply for outside scholarships every year. Also, think in terms of being safe. The internet is no place to put your personal information and entrusted to strangers. See the guidance on our website from the U.S. Department of Education about avoiding scholarship scams. Send the notices you get about your scholarships to us so we can add them to your award letter and reduce your gap. We are here to help. This is our contact information. Don't be shy. Reach out to us. And finally, don't forget, education tax credits. You will save money on your federal taxes for having a student in college. The document you will need for your tax preparer is the IRS Form 1098-T. The 1098-T forms are prepared by KWU and posted to the students My KWU Student Portal by January 31st of each year. We will post an announcement to students on their KWU email to download the form and send it to you, Mom and Dad. So Mom and Dad, and students-to-be, remember, we're your partners in the financing of your education. No, the only question that's a dumb question is the one you don't ask us. Our phone numbers and our email addresses are located on this panel. Reach out, we'll be happy to help. No question is a bother. And we are your partners in the financing of your Kansas Wesleyan education. We look forward to seeing you on campus.